Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are playing Schizoid for Xbox 360. This is an Xbox Live Arcade title released in uh, July 2008. And uh, it certainly has one of the more notable sort of early, really hard games on uh, Xbox Live Arcade. Because this game is basically about controlling two ships with one controller. I will just hop right in. Uh, let's see, uh, Uber Schizoid is the mode that we want to play, campaign, single level. The menus are a little bit weird to get used to, but uh, let's see what we got here. Let's hop into some early stuff, just to give you an idea of what this is all about. Um, this is one of the first uh, XNA games basically made. So here I got left stick is controlling the blue guy. And I messed up already. So basically, with the blue ship, the blue ship has to run into blue enemies. The orange ship has to run into orange enemies. So you kind of want to sort of use both to sort of run into dudes. And it's a really big sort of mind, uh, mind fuck. Cause I am just sort of getting destroyed here. Whoa, whoa. No, get up. Okay. Yeah, this. This is really hard to play and talk about. So we got through that level using up seven lives. Oh. Yeah, it's sort of a game that really requires you to uh, really have to pay attention and understand what you're doing. Going for these eggs to hatch, clean them up for Okay, now we can do this. Whoa. Yeah, it's sort of like uh Okay, we've messed up already. It's basically like trying to, you know, Rub your stomach and pat yourself on the head in some really uh, challenging ways. This is a game that has the single player component that I'm playing. It also has co-op, which also requires some, uh, some really great cooperation between players. This is sort of a strategy you can use to sort of keeping these guys together and sort of uh, moving them back and forth to attack the guys that you need to. Okay, I forget what those guys are all about. Okay, I guess those guys... Uh... And as you can see, there's sort of that string that's going to the other side of the screen. Sort of going to each corner trying to give you some means of figuring out which controller, which uh, stick controls what, in case you forget. This is another strategy here, is leave one by itself. Use the other one to sort of protect it against similar enemies. Yeah, yeah it's really, really hard to play. Especially when I'm trying to talk about it. And so yeah, it ended up stinking like that. So yeah, one of the things it does is basically to complete one of these uh, 
one of these sections of levels, you have to get through all seven of those levels with ten lives. And as you saw, I burned through them really quickly. And that's just really hard right there. Uh, we can play single levels, so let's hop into the first level. Okay. So here's where you get your sort of tutorial. Right stick controls the red ship. You get to see the nice little string. Did you know that the... Uh, Orange, red, whatever uh, is your right stick. Blue is your left. Let's hop over to here. Hey, this is the one we played earlier. Barrel right through all those blue ones. Boom. Just use the right. Take this one out. Uh, nope. Yeah, even despite sort of those attempts to make it easier to s sort of differentiate the stuff, it's still a really tough game. So yeah, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's back out. Yeah, you can do local co-op where each one, each player controls a ship. So, you know, it's a bit easier that way. But it also requires a lot of uh, coordination because it's even tough just doing it by yourself when you're the only person that you have to rely on. You realize your left hand and your right hand can barely even work together. So trying to get two completely different people to do that same thing it can be quite tough so let's hop in single level let's see if we can tackle some of those harder levels that we got to waka waka probably means that this is a pac-man style level yep okay this is what we need here oh How you go through this, take it one at a time, use them to protect each other. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. That one, get that one. Star, get that thing. Oh, okay, the rest are blue. They're all stuck on the walls, so that's good. Let's take them both over here. Take them out. Oh crap, stars. Stars loose, stars loose. Uh, 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 uh. Oh crap. One good thing is that they protect the other ship. When one dies, so you don't end up in a situation where you're going to lose both quick succession yeah, those stars are difficult because they are definitely trying to run away from your other stuff from your other ship there so yeah so this is a way to just work better on some of these levels try them out and uh, see about working them out but here's where you can actually get progress and we'll try this once more, see what we can do here. Okay, that was great. Ah, uh, take them all out. Oh. So we get over here, get this little power up. Oh, That's great. There we go. Only lost four lives on that. 
Let's hop into this next level. Boom, we got speed boost. Speed boost again. Just run into things all willy-nilly. So there's a good opportunity right there to just completely decimate some of this stuff. Like when one uh, ship dies, you can sort of... Oh, back down here. There we go. That wasn't too bad right there. That might be why I have a pretty good medal on that level. And we got Waka Waka. Okay, yeah, back to this one. Uh, this way. these like neon lobsters here coming after us neon stars there we go go over here so yeah playing that for uh, the other version of this level was a good sort of practice for this oh crap that one's dead but you can take this guy get the blue star here and we only lost another life there, so that's good. Let's see what this next level is and see why I probably didn't play too much more of this. Okay. Oh. Okay, I barely didn't. Okay, get this thing. There we go. Oh yeah, it's because those things are just flying around completely random. Boom. Yeah, not too bad there. We got three more levels and three more lives. Oh, that was great. Let's see what we got to do here. Crap. One life left, and two more levels to get through. That's not going to happen. And that will probably end up being it for this. This is a really cool game, really cool sort of exercise. We'll show you how messed up you can really screw up your mind playing this game. And it's sort of one of the early examples of sort of that whole... Uh, hard design that you can get. So the hard, uh, I don't know, like trend of hard games we've had as of late with stuff like Hotline Miami, um, uh, Super Meat Boy, those sorts of games. And Plus was another hard game of this generation pretty early on so yeah definitely uh, a really interesting game a really cool exercise and just sort of making you think well, it's the same exact level all stars though maybe that's the challenge there oh crap and game so yeah that is schizoid it's really hard, but a really cool game. Uh, definitely, if you like what you see, definitely recommend it. Um, as you can see here, I've got three achievements in this. Destroy an enemy. Get the razor wire. Oh, I forget what the razor wire mechanic is. Destroy all enemies on level two. With single smart bomb. And get a gold level on level five. Without destroying any flits. There's Xbox Live achievements. I never really bothered with that. Destroy 2,500 Scorpios. Yeah, there's like 119 levels. And as you can see, I got to about 17. 
So definitely, if you can get to that sort of stuff, that's really, uh, you're pretty good. Doesn't seem like they sort of emphasize the co-op stuff. So, yeah, that's Schizoid. I believe it's 800 points. Um, yeah. I feel like what you see, you know, get it. If not, you know, maybe the next game will be something for you. So, uh, thanks for checking this out, and uh, have a good day, guys.